Hey viewers, uh, Fernando from SkyFi Audio. Today I'm going to share with you a hi-fi system we just assembled for a client of ours. Um, we often do this for people. Uh, we call it a concierge service. So we get calls from uh, potential or future audiophiles that are looking to put together a system that really don't have the time to invest in researching the thousands of components out there, understanding how they all perform, how they work together, and and essentially what is a good fit for the person. So we take a lot of the guesswork out of the mix. We, we'll, um, we'll have a conversation with the client, assign a budget, collect a deposit, and essentially go into our vast library uh, of equipment that we've got at our shop. We will even go to the market or maybe uh, friends of ours in the industry and, and piece together just the right system. It's quite its time savings. and. Because uh, we know so much about audio equipment, we're able to figure out ahead of time what works well together. So, you know, which turntable goes well with which phone or preamp with the correct cartridge loading. Same for amps and preamps and speakers and wires and all that. So this is a good example of uh, a turnkey concierge system that we've assembled together. I mentioned this is for a repeat customer, and sure enough, uh, this uh, customer has bought many systems over the years. Um, he's bought one for a couple of his homes, uh, then I think he purchased one for his brother, and now his son has moved into a new home, and what a great gift of someone uh, moving in. is is a great stereo to kind of anchor the family room and provide lots of hours of entertainment. So sure enough, he called us up, said, hey, Fernando, my son is moving. I want to get them cool system. So we assembled together a budget, and then we picked, or maybe we sort of predefined three or four systems, ranging from pure vintage to semi-vintage to modern, right? And uh, narrowed it down, started by actually picking the speakers. The speakers often drive the rest of the system. So once we're able to ascertain the speakers, we then know what kind of amplifier we need, and then we know what's a good match for a preamp. And then at that point, you've established sort of like an era. Um, and um, adding a turntable to it is, is actually easy. So, and that's what we did. He picked these wonderful clip speakers. This is for his son. So when he wa we first wanted a speaker that could rock and roll. And sh clips can certainly do that. It's a sizable cabinet, uh, good size woofer, um, and able to fill a, a good mid to large size room. This happens to be a set of vintage speakers that are still being made. They're Cornwalls, been made for 50, 60 years. This is an early, early set from the 1970s that is in absolutely gorgeous shape. Um, so it's almost uh, a collector piece as much as it is as a piece of hi-fi equipment uh, in rare, rare condition. I mean, look at the wood finish on these. The grill's in absolute perfect condition. It's just a little bit of... Uh, a shadow from from our windows and then circling up to the back of them um, these use the old screw terminals as you can see and sure enough here's the label reflecting their age so rare rare set of cornwalls um, so we then um, then considered a few things for amp and preamp um, we wanted to stay within the auto research line. Our client is, is a big fan of auto research. We've done at least one other system with this brand. The current stuff was just too expensive. We considered a GS150, um, a reference uh, preamp, and the prices were astronomical, and they were quickly or out of budget. So we settled um, on something almost vintage. Uh, this happens to be a um, LS15 uh, line stage preamp that has the convenience of a remote control yet sort of the vintage look and feel and the solid state amplifier this is the 240 the d240 stereo amplifier also from audio research so not quite vintage but certainly almost there um, we also consider going to an older sp3 with a d72 preamp but we wanted something a little less troublesome uh, something that could be left on indefinitely maybe forgotten to turn off overnight and uh, it wouldn't age and the tubes would sort of last a long time. So it, it made sense that for this particular use that we went with a uh, combination of tube and solid state for the electronics. 
Uh, for the turntable, aesthetically, the clear audio concept was a perfect match. We also considered maybe a, an older VPI or soda turntable, but once we went with the aluminum look with the wood on the speakers, uh, it made complete sense aesthetically and functionally to use a clear audio concept. This one happens to have a Virtuoso cartridge that was upgraded, and it's sounding great. Now, since this uh, is in fact an LS15, LS means line stage, uh, it does not have a phono input. So we essentially connect um, a phono preamp to the single-ended one input here. And we picked a, a modestly priced but very great performing phono preamp from Project. This is specifically the Project Phonobox DS2. So somewhat easy to use. It's got facilities for both moving coil and moving magnet. Goes along aesthetically with the rest of the system. And it's super quiet. We've really enjoyed these over the years. Uh, we spec these into a lot of systems, both this and the slightly larger version. Now for streaming, um, just background music. We'll supply a Sonos um, port, which is uh, Real easy to use software uh, on the Sonos platform, and we love mixing it up with with vintage equipment. It kind of takes the, uh, you know, if you want just some convenience background music, uh, Sonos does a great job. So here you have it. Let me uh, play a little bit of, of music for, oh, actually, let me show you what we did cable-wise, because that was interesting. We went into our vast library of cables and we picked uh, something also vintage -y. We picked some cables from straight wire for the speaker cables. They were just the right side spades for the vintage screw terminals on there. A good length and a good solid well-made cable. For interconnects, we went with MIT throughout. Um, where you can see what we did here. These are just temporary right now, but here are the MIT cables for uh, the turntable and then we used MIT as well MI330s for the uh, amp to preamp connections here's the back of the amplifier and the back of the preamp so we did use XLR to connect the amp to the preamp which is always uh, a better choice if available I would never choose an amp or a preamp based on XLR cables, but when they're there, we always like to use them. All right, the, all this equipment has captive power cords, so we didn't bother upgrading the power cords. And that's about it. Let me play some music for you. If you're curious while we're playing, you know that you probably know this is my absolute favorite album of late, Johnny Hodges. So there's no real substitute for cabinet size. These clips are sizable in terms of uh, the, the volume, but they are tremendous. Uh, great bass response. Um, they do utilize horns for the mid and the highs. So they're able to provide super clear, sparkling <laughs> rendition of the music. Um, a little bit colored, but very engaging and a lot of fun. And it's a great speaker even in this modern iteration. It's just gotten better over the years. Or let's just say it's very slight improvements over the years, or, or better yet, refinement. Um, it's almost like a Porsche 911 where it's just continuously refined. Uh, so this is a great, great speaker from Klipsch.
That's all I got for you today. This is Fernando from SkyFi Audio. I'd love it if you could visit us online at skyfiaudio.com, our website. Tons and tons of items. I think we're probably pushing 600 items at this point. Also, um, please uh, like and subscribe if you appreciate the videos. It'll keep us motivated to, to keep bringing them to you. And most of all, thank you for, for watching and supporting the channel. Thank you.